Hey, so this is Dan Blewett, and I want to thank you, number one, for taking my course, and number two, I want to tell you just a little bit about me. So when I was a 18-year-old kid, I had the coach from the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, come out and watch me pitch. I threw just well enough where he offered me a roster spot, but not a scholarship in college. So I got a chance to play small Division I baseball, um, and as a 165-pound, 5'11", right-handed pitcher, you know, that was a big step for me, and it was it was a dream come true at the time. But I also knew that I wanted to play professional baseball. I wanted to pitch in the major leagues. That was that was my ultimate goal. And at that point, my switch sort of flipped, and I realized that I wasn't as good as I thought I was, and that I really needed to do a lot if I was ever going to realize that goal of continuing on to professional baseball four years later when my college career came to an end. So I got to work and I studied and I became a student of the game. I bothered my strength coach. I bugged my pitching coach uh, to no end, really. And then when I finally graduated from college, I got a chance to play some pro baseball. Now, it wasn't easy. I went from an 80 mile per hour kid to a 90 mile per hour kid over the course of three years in college. But then I blew up my elbow. I got Tommy John surgery and I had to come back from that. I had to relearn how to pitch, basically. And then I continued this long evolution of me becoming a better player and also a very knowledgeable player based on you know all the mechanics and training and all the different aspects of becoming a good player. So when I graduated from college and had a place to play, a year later after finishing my recovery, my recovery from Tommy John, I, uh, I got a contract for spring training. I made the squad and I earned my first professional baseball paycheck. And that offseason... I didn't know what to do. I was waiting for my next year. I had a good season. I pitched 120 innings that year, had a 3.9 ERA. So I earned, I basically punched my ticket for another year of professional baseball. Um, but I didn't know what to do. So I started training young baseball players because uh, that was really all I knew how to do at the point. Or at, that, at that point, I had a degree in philosophy and psychology. That's sort of my background. Um, but I started to teach kids all the things that I had done to become a good player because I kind of start had to start from scratch and I didn't have the most knowledgeable coaches at every level, um, so I had to piece a lot of it together myself. So now that I've retired, I retired last year, I've had a successful baseball academy called Warbird Training Academy here in Bloomington, Illinois, and uh, this is our seventh year in business, and we're doing great. Um, we have a, our own travel organization called the Warbird Senators, and uh, you know I've learned a lot over the last couple of years. I do one to 2,000 pitching lessons a year, so I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with, with young pitchers, I have a lot of parents that come to me. They say, hey, you know, here's my son. He's 10. I don't know what to tell him. Uh, you know, I didn't play baseball myself. Uh, so here we are. You know, he needs to learn just the basics. He doesn't have anything. So it's really, really easy. You can make a ton of progress with your son just playing catch in the backyard. And I'm here just to give you the fundamentals because, again, I have lots of parents come to, say, come to me and they say, you know, hey, I'm a computer programmer or I'm a, I'm a doctor. I'm a lawyer. I played football. I played basketball. Uh, but I didn't pitch, I didn't play baseball, or whatever it is. And uh, so I want to help you fill in those blanks so that you can have a good foundation to teach him because it's a great game. You know, I played catch with my dad in the backyard. He didn't have a baseball background either, but he learned, I don't know who he learned from, but he learned enough to teach me and we had a good relationship because of it. So uh, in this course, again, you're going to learn the windup and the stretch, again, the basics that he's going to have to use in the game. You're going to learn basic throwing drills, pitching drills, I don't want to give you a million of them because it's just going to cause more and more confusion. I have a more advanced pitching course. It's called Pitching Isn't Complicated. Uh, I also have a book called Pitching Isn't Complicated. Those two going to go hand in hand. Um, but this is meant to be a very simple beginner course that you can teach your son, give him the basics, and then he's going to be on his way and he's going to do great. Just play catch with him a lot, follow my plan, and teach him the right things from the get-go. And that's pretty much it. So module one, wind up and stretch. There's a handful of videos in there. Module two, pitch grips. If your son's below 15, 14 or 15, don't teach him a curveball. Just work on the fastball and change up. I have another free change up course on uh, courses.danblewitt.com. So feel free to check that one out as well. Uh, go through all the pickoff moves. Number three, they start doing pickoffs in I think 11U baseball. That's when they start to lead off and steal. It depends on the area. Some places it's 10U, some places it's 11U, some places it's 12U. But they need to know the pickoff moves. I go over all of them in this one. Um, I'm going to briefly lecture on the strike zone and counts. That's really important, just as the fundamentals. Uh, again, just understanding. They need to understand how 
each pitch interacts with the next pitch and the previous pitch. How the strike zone works. What does the plate do? Why do you want to aim here versus here, depending on the count? It's really important. It can help them maximize their ability and be very successful or be pretty unsuccessful if they're not targeting everything correctly. And then lastly, again, module five is pitching drills, and I'm going to show you how to kind of work it into routine. It doesn't have to be super complex. They just need structure, just a little bit of structure and good, consistent, simple drills to do. I promise you, you don't need all these tons and tons of gimmicks. If your son's anywhere between four and 13 years old, this course is gonna be plenty. It's gonna be a great set of basics. This is pretty much what I would teach to any eight, nine, 10, 11 year old that comes through my facility uh, in the first 15 pitching lessons, which is pretty a pretty long time. So anyway, glad you're here. Enjoy the course and feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions.